welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacqueline. I make new videos every week, a whole variety of things, lifestyle, beauty, adventure, all sorts of fun stuff. And I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And today I have my morning routine for you guys. So I have like my whole routine and then I give you my skincare at the end. So I'll leave a timestamp to when the skincare starts in the description box below in case you're just curious about my skincare routine. But otherwise, let's just hop right into my morning routine. Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome to my morning routine. Um, I wake up at 6.30, which you just saw. I get changed immediately into gym clothes because I go to the gym this morning. So I'm just gonna make some coffee really quick, have a cup of coffee, and then I'll be off to the gym. Okay, I just made it to the gym. I'm gonna put my face mask on and head in. It's a military gym, so I'm not gonna show you anything in there. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get my workout in and I will be back to finish my routine when I'm done. All right, my workout is finished. I'll insert uh, my calories and stuff here. I did shoulders because it's Tuesday. So um, I'm gonna head home to do my cardio because the gym's on base right now don't have any carding machines available like they just aren't allowing anyone to do cardio on base um so i'm gonna go home to do my cardio and then i'm gonna make some breakfast and do my skincare so let's get home and finish up my morning routine so i've been using the fitness plus which is an apple thing so if you have um the most current ios on your phone and an apple watch you can use it and it's pretty amazing i've been taking some spin classes on there sorry if you're hearing my crazy dog um and it's pretty amazing so i'm gonna take like a 20 minute spin class and then i will be back to cook breakfast all right as you can see my face is very red very sweaty those workouts kill me it was only 20 minutes but i burned almost too many calories in just 20 minutes so if you have an Apple Watch and an iPhone, it's something to try out. They have a ton of different workouts, um, but I am enjoying the cycling ones on my our new spin bike. So I'm gonna go make some breakfast. I'll show you what I'm gonna make. I make pretty much the same thing every morning because it tastes really good, it's full of nutrition, and yeah, it just works to fuel my body. But I like to do that before I even wash my face so my body gets the fuel it needs before it's too late. Because most experts in diet and doctors and stuff say that you should eat within 30 minutes of your workout so I try to get down there and eat right away so let's go make breakfast I'll show you what I'm gonna make okay so I'm gonna make two different things for breakfast I like to make a banana peanut butter green smoothie thing and then I also like to make an egg and sausage wrap just to have a little bit of everything so let me show you what all I use okay for the egg and sausage I just have some turkey sausage patties I cut them in half and then I just scramble one egg and put them on this like gluten-free wrap thing. They make a spinach one that I like better. They tend to like hold together better than this one, but I couldn't find them, so I got the regular ones. All right, and then for the smoothie, I like to use, first of all, this vegan protein powder. Um, this is from Ghost, and this is their pancake powder one, and holy moly, does this taste amazing. It literally tastes like pancakes with syrup on it. So when I make this, it literally tastes like banana peanut butter pancakes, and it's amazing. So I use that first. I use a whole banana, 
I tend to do like a tablespoon or so of almond butter. I just happen to have the honey one. I don't think it would make a difference if you use regular or peanut butter or whatever, but I like almond butter. I do a little bit of cinnamon, some chia seeds, uh, some, I usually get regular almond milk, but they didn't have any unsweetened regular plain almond milk. So I got the almond, and, almond, and, almond and coconut cheese, if I could talk, and it's pretty good. So I like to use that and then a whole bunch of spinach. So I'll kind of show you what it looks like in the blender. I also add water and ice. So let me make it out and I'll show you what it looks like before and after I blend it. So that is it. Let me blend it up. All right, and then I'm just gonna pour it right in a big old mason jar. Cause that's just what I like to drink out of. Okay, so I have my smoothie. I'm telling you, it literally tastes like banana pancakes. It's amazing. I'm gonna make my eggs and sausage while I drink this. And then I'll do my skincare routine. So let me make the rest of my breakfast. And I'll get to the good stuff. Okay, and then on my eggs, the one semi-unnutritious thing that I like to put on, but I love it, so I'm not going to stop, is uh, ketchup. I also put a little bit of hot sauce on, um, and we'll just wrap it up and eat it like a taco. So yummy. Okay, I'm just finishing up my breakfast, but I also want to mention a huge part of my morning routine is water. I always seem to like not get enough water in the morning and then try to like get all my water in the afternoons. So I really try to get all my water in. I think I'm almost done with my first 32 ounces. It's actually in a different water bottle right now because this one's easier to cycle with. But I'm almost done with my 32 ounces for the morning. So that is really good. Um, so let's go upstairs and finish off my morning routine with my skincare. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my skincare. It's the last step of my morning routine. So you might be thinking, well, did you work out? Are you gonna shower? I tend to shower at night just because I take Tahoe for walks in the afternoon and stuff like that. I just tend to sweat again. It just feels like I need to shower all over again then. So I tend to shower at night. It might be disgusting to you, but this is what I like to do. Um, and I don't tend to get BO, so I don't smell that bad. Um, so as long as I'm getting the sweat off my face, I feel okay. So, <clears throat> The first thing I'm going to do, I have to grab it out of the shower because it's in the shower from last night. <clears throat> first thing I'm going to do is wash my face. Right now I'm using the Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Hydrating Cleanser. I also love the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. And I like to use it on my Foreo. So let me turn you a little bit so this is easier to see. <clears throat> well, I have to get the water just like warm, not hot. I'm 
I'm just gonna a little bit on my face, a little bit of water on the Foreo. Now I usually take two or three pumps, just depending on how I'm feeling. And then I like to just kind of spread this on my face first so I have cleanser everywhere and then I'll turn it on. And I like to use a little buzzing to go from different sections. So I'll do the first little section here. When it buzzes, I'll switch to the other cheek. And I'm being really gentle, I'm not pushing too hard or anything. Hair on my face. Next buzz, I'll switch to my chin and mouth area. And the last buzz is my forehead. And then after it's finished, I kind of just get my nose really quick and my jawline. Normally I would get my like chest too, but uh, I have like a high crotch top on, so. I'm just gonna gently rip the face off. Alright, and then I'm gonna take a clean washcloth. I just have like a bunch of them in a drawer and just pat my skin dry. But I use a clean one every time, so um so if that's something you're concerned about. I just tend to use a clean one and then I just wash them with my laundry once a week. So I have a whole pile of them and I just wash them and use them again. <coughs> All right, after my skin is dry, I put on my vitamin C. This is my Mad Hippie, which I am obsessed with. I have a whole 30 day skincare test on this. I will leave it up in the corner and down below in case you're curious about it. But I've been using this for a while now and I I just love it. It works really well. It's super gentle, um, but it's effective. And I just really enjoy that vitamin C. All right, the next step is the Snail Mucin. So it's the COSRX. Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. I love this stuff. It's super hydrating. I use this in place of like a hyaluronic acid. Um, it does have some hyaluronic acid in it. I just find this to be even more hydrating than their, their normal hyaluronic acid. Um, and I just really enjoy using it. Their hyaluronic acid is amazing too though. So if you're looking for a good hyaluronic acid, the Cosorax one is great. Okay, well, the next step is something I love. This is the Ordinary Azelaic Acid. This stuff is amazing. I really, really enjoy using it. I use it literally every morning, it's amazing. So I just get like a pea size amount. I just kind of distribute it first and then rub it in. Um, so something else, my skin has been looking a lot better. Uh, I still have some like red marks as you can see. However, uh, like I don't have as much texture anymore, which is great. And I think a couple things that helped with that is, um, first of all, working out again and sweating a lot. As long as you clean your face after you sweat, sweat's actually really good for your skin. So let me fix you again. Um, so I think that's really been helping my skin. Next thing I'm gonna use is some CeraVe, the moisturizing cream. I have super dry skin, so I use the cream morning and night. Um, so I scrub a little bit. Um, I think the other thing that helped is my hormones are like balancing out a little bit better because I've been eating better and stuff. 
So I think my, you know, all that is playing a factor into my skin. Um, but really, honestly, since I started spinning again and got like getting super sweaty, my skin has really been looking a lot better. I think that has been helping a lot. And this stuff might be a little scary for some people. Um, but I put on just a teeny tiny bit of my rosehip oil in the morning. I know they suggest you do it at night, but I just love oil on my face. So I just take like four drops, nothing crazy, and just pat it on my skin. And I wear sunscreen every day. I reapply. So I'm not super worried about it because it's a vitamin A derivative, I guess, or it contains some sort of vitamin A. So it can make your skin more sensitive to light. So I just make sure I, you know, get all my sunscreen on. All right, so while that's kind of settling in and absorbing, I'm gonna brush my teeth and um, use the mouthwash. So in case you're curious, I love the Pronamel, Sensodyne Pronamel Gentle White. This is my favorite toothpaste. I have a Philips Sonicare toothbrush that I use. And then this isn't my favorite mouthwash. There's a Crest Gum detoxifier one that I love, but I couldn't find that one where I was getting my mouthwash. So I just have the normal Listerine Ultra Clean and it works really well too. It's just not my favorite mouthwash. So but I'm going to use it up because I have it. So I'm not the most like graceful person to brush my teeth, but I'm brush my teeth. I don't care. Step of my skincare routine is sunscreen. I have two different sunscreens right now. It just depends on how I'm feeling that day, what I'm doing that day, and what I'm gonna put on. So the first one is the Neutrogena one. This is the Pure and Free Baby. It's SPF 50. Uh, it's fragrance free, tear free. It's also 100% zinc oxide. So love that one. The other one I love that I'm gonna use today is the Kinship Self Reflect Probiotic Moisturizing Sunscreen Zinc Oxide Broad Spectrum SPF 32. So this is one of my favorite sunscreens right now and I'm obsessed with it. So I'm just gonna get a really good size dollop. Oop, hopefully it fall off. Get good size and I just kind of distribute it first and then rub it in. Make sure I get my eyes too and my ears. And the reason I waited to put this on till the um, oil and stuff was absorbed, because if you don't wait, this one tends to pull up a little bit. If I was gonna use the baby one, I'd put it on directly after the oil, because the oil kind of helps it absorb a little bit better if that makes sense and then i'll brush my teeth and then finish rubbing in the sunscreen because the white cast can be pretty harsh on that one so it takes a little bit of extra skin warmth and effort to blend that one in i just take whatever's left and put it on my hands um then i like to brush my brows through because they tend to get crazy after i put sunscreen on um but yeah that is my skincare routine. I think I'm going to change, but that's my morning routine. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my morning routine. I tend to keep it pretty simple and, you know, not do anything crazy. Workout, coffee, skincare, pretty easy. It's pretty simple, but it works for me and it gets me going in the day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, what do you do for your uh, morning routine? Let me know. Leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. 
Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and help me reach my 1,000 subscriber goal by subscribing. That'd be amazing. You could join our little adventure family here. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So see you in my next adventure. Bye.